Okay, so uh, it's interesting to also um, see what can be proved as far as how this approximation and to this end let's discuss the geometric set cover problem. So I give you a set of points and a set of regions. In this case I give you uh, fat triangles and the purpose is to find the minimum number of triangles that cover all the points. Um, so, um, this problem, if the input uh, set of triangles has uh, uh, density rho, then one can find uh, an algorithm that has running time n to the power of some polynomial in rho and epsilon. Uh, and this is essentially the local search algorithm we just discussed. It turns out that this is just uh, a dominating set problem, and as such, the, Peters, the local search Peters algorithm just works. Okay, so uh, to prove any kind of hardness uh, as far as the density of the input instance, we're going to use the exponential time hypothesis, so-called at the edge. And that edge states that 3 sat cannot be solved in time better than 2 to the power of n. Now, there are many variants depending on exactly on the constant in the power, but uh, for our purposes we need, in fact, an even uh, weaker version. So, um, the weaker version of is that, you know, you cannot solve 3 sat in time better than sub-exponential, right? So, you might be able to do 2 to the square root n, the time to solve the 3 sat formula with n variable, but you cannot do better than that, right? So this is the this weaker version of at edge that is enough uh, to imply the hardness result that I'm going to discuss shortly. Okay, so to see why uh, the at edge is interesting, um, it's useful to look on uh, uh, running times in the logarithmic scale. So, a uh, linear running time is just uh, Lg of n, log base 2 of n. Polynomial is just O of log n. Quasi-polynomial time is O of poly log n. And then there is this huge gap. Uh, and you get to sub-exponential time, which is uh, n to the power c in the logarithmic scale. And then you have linear... Uh, uh, you have uh, O of n, which is exponential time, if you want at the edge. So, really what at the edge says is that there is this... Uh, uh, the 3 sat, and sat in general, is on the other side of this uh, monstrous gap, which is kind of uh, a pretty powerful uh, property. Okay, so... Um, so now... Um, so maybe before going any further, I should say that ETH is uh, uh, already a very popular tool in uh, fixed parameter uh, tractability hardness results. And more recently, there was a lot of excitement because uh, people showed a conditional lower bounds on things like uh, uh, computing the Fauché distance or even approximating the Fauché distance between curves, uh, and also things like you know lower bound for eddy distance and similar problems. So there is a lot of uh, recent activity uh, using uh, at the edge. Okay, so um, so in particular, to see the power of at the edge, observe that it implies that you cannot even solve uh, a tree sat for polylogarithmic uh, size instant, namely polylogarithmic instant with polylogarithmic number variables in polynomial time. Right. So not only it says that linear size instances are hard. It tells you that even polylogarithmic instances, which are significantly smaller, are hard. So it's a, it truly really is a very strong, uh, strong hypothesis. And uh, in particular, it implies that if a problem is APX hard, namely there is no constant factor approximation, unless p equal n p, then um, such a problem that is APX hard cannot one cannot solve exactly, or even approximate, instances that are polylogarithmic size, right? So, not only you cannot solve polylogarithmic instances, you cannot even approximate them. One perception approximate if the problem is APX hard. So this is a pretty strong uh, hypothesis, as I mentioned earlier. 
Okay, so what one can show for geometric set cover? So as we s I mentioned earlier, for geometric set cover we can get the pitas with running time into the polynomial of the density and epsilon. And under the at the edge one can show a lower bound that says that you cannot do one plus epsilon approximation with running time uh, n to the power of the density to some constant where the constant is sufficiently uh, uh, sufficiently small, right? So, so there is this, you know, essentially what it says is that we get a full classification of the problem as far as hardness, as far as the density of the instance, right? If the instance is dense the problem is a hard. If the instance has low density, then we can get a pitas and solve it efficiently, which is kind of uh, an interesting uh, uh, result to have. Um, and we can get the same result for geometric heating set. So in geometric heating set, I give you a set of uh, regions, say triangles, and I want to uh, pick a subset of uh, a given point set, such as the the given, uh, the selected points stubs all the regions, and you want, of course, this uh, heating set to be as small as possible. And as before, we get a, a, a pitas with running time n to the some noise in the density, and uh, at the edge tells us that we cannot do better than n to some, you know, the density to power of some constant. So again, we get characterization as far as uh, density. Okay, so how does one prove uh, uh, something like that? So the basic idea is to start from the right APX hard problem. In our case, we are going to start with, uh, you gi I give you a three regular graph and you want to find a vertex cover. So it's known that this problem is APX hard. By Brooks theorem, this graph can be three colored. And now we take those vertices and we move them to the uh, a circle such that the, all the uh, vertices of the same color are clustered together. We have three clusters. Those clusters are very tight and they're 120 degrees from each other. And, you know, we now have this graph drawn using straight segment on this uh, vertices on the circle. And now what we do for every edge in the graph, which is just a segment, we create a triangle by picking a third vertex somewhere, uh, uh, you know, near the, the, the third cluster. Right, so we pick a vertex that is not in the cl third cluster, but somewhere in between the points of the third cluster, and we form a triangle. And we do it for every edge. And the important thing is that as those clusters are tighter and tighter, those triangles get closer and closer to being equilateral triangles. Right. And in particular, if I do it for all the triangles, I just get a soup of triangles. Right. The original vertices are just going to be points, and now it's easy to verify that uh, vertex uh, cover on the left side of the original graph corresponds to a heating set of the corresponding points on the right. And this, since the problem on the left is APX hard, the problem on the right is also APX hard. And we get the result I mentioned. Okay, so let me um, summarize uh, the thesis of this talk. So the thesis of this talk is that we have those two uh, uh, interesting classes of graph, low density graphs, and polynomial expansion graphs. Both of them, uh, you know, the both of them are have a lot of interesting property. They behave in in many ways like planar graphs. We can solve a, they have separators and so on and so forth. And my feeling is that um, we we there should you know and those classes of graphs did not receive their due attention yet, and there should be a lot of uh, fertile future research to be done on those uh, 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 classes of graphs. Okay, um, so here's a list of open problems. Um, you know, the basic questions are essentially uh, given uh, graphs that belong to those family, can you recognize them? Can you realize them? What can you solve efficiently on them? Can you extend algorithms? Uh, from uh, planar graphs and similar classes to those, uh, you know, more general classes and so on and so forth. Um, let me not go uh, to the problem. The, the problems are on the slides. The slides are available on my web page, and uh, if you are interested, you can have a look. Thank you very much for your patience. Uh, let me finally just mention that there are some further references uh, on the slides 
that are related to the stuff covered in this uh, 